at least Brett Cooper looks like Snow White in this promo, whereas you can't really say the same thing about Rachel Zegler. It's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. We are attempting something huge. We're going up against Disney. We have our critics, but we have passion and we have a mission in mind that is bigger than just this movie. But when you leave this scene, I like turn to the camera and I was like, gal's mad. <laughs> now, I think it's pretty safe to say that Snow White 2024 by Disney is by far going to be the biggest box office failure among Disney throughout all of their other films. When am I not crying I in public? It's so upsetting. We didn't even see, it's but I saw the logo and I went, that's my name, Snow White's up there, and I cried my eyes out. Over the span of eight and a half decades, the legacy of Walt Disney has endured, marked initially by the enchanting debut of his inaugural animated feature, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. What may strike as surprising is that a tale as timeless as this still manages to kindle intense debates, yet the recent actions of Disney have set ablaze the passions of fans. In the wake of discontent, an intriguing development has emerged the announcement of a new Snow White film poised to challenge Disney's dominion over this beloved narrative? In the contemporary landscape, Disney's foray into live-action adaptations has been a mixed bag, eliciting both excitement and controversy. While some fervently welcome the opportunity to witness iconic characters such as Belle, Simba, and Princess Jasmine undergo a fresh metamorphosis on the grand cinematic stage, a discerning faction has started to discern flaws in Disney's approach to these adaptations, a sentiment exacerbated with each successive endeavor. The recent retelling of classics like Aladdin and The Little Mermaid has only served to magnify the escalating disapproval, reaching a crescendo with the forthcoming rendition of Snow White. The magnitude of the changes Disney is introducing to this cherished and classic story has irked many devoted fans. The controversy ignited with the casting of Latina actress Rachel Zegler as the iconic Disney princess. This choice triggered a tidal wave of criticism and concern among fans who perceived it as a departure from the established visual representation. Disney further fanned the flames by divulging that the endearing dwarf characters, synonymous with Snow White, would be ousted and replaced by magical creatures. This proclamation became the focal point of a heated debate, culminating in significant backlash against Disney. The turmoil, however, seems to be undergoing subtle transformations behind the scenes, hinted at by a recently released photo suggesting the possible return of the dwarves. Yet, this glimmer of hope is overshadowed by persistent dissatisfaction among fans, particularly concerning the visual portrayal of the dwarves and the ongoing discourse surrounding a potential deviation from the original storyline. Rachel Zegler's comments about the film have reignited discussions and garnered significant attention. Her assertion that it's not 1937 anymore and the subsequent revelation of a narrative shift away from the traditional Snow White storyline primarily centered around the pursuit of true love, have stirred controversy. Fans criticized this reinterpretation under Ziegler and director Mark Webb for seemingly challenging traditional romantic themes and the profound significance of friendship. The criticism intensifies as Ziegler implies the original story casts the prince as a stalker. The original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> there is a big focus on her love story with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. So we didn't do that this time. The amalgamation of Ziegler's comments and Disney's alterations to the beloved animated classic has resulted in the film being labelled as woke, provoking an intense backlash. The discontent has reached such heights that a considerable number of fans are openly contemplating boycotting the film upon its release. Responding to this unrest, Disney has taken the unprecedented step of postponing the film's release, shifting it from the initially slated 2024 to 2025. However, amidst this turbulence, not all are content to merely witness the potential dilution of Snow White's essence. A distinct and alternative Snow White film is currently in production, set to release in 2024, providing an alternative narrative trajectory. This cinematic venture emerges in direct response to Disney's live-action approach to Snow White. Notably, The Daily Wire, a conservative news outlet, has assumed a prominent role in this narrative duel by presenting its version of the classic tale. 
The Daily Wire's Snow White adaptation, titled Snow White and the Evil Queen, is set to be released in 2024 and pledges to stay true to the original brother's grim fairy tale. This fidelity to the source material holds particular appeal for lifelong fans disheartened by Disney's live-action departures from tradition. The film aims to reintroduce and emphasize the traditional values that Disney is perceived to be erasing in its pursuit of modern reinterpretations. The vision for the Daily Wires film is explicit. It revolves around timeless values such as friendship, magic, inner beauty, and romance. These values, deemed by the Daily Wire as relevant today as they were in the past, stand in stark contrast to Zegler's opinion that such values are outdated. The film, through its commitment to celebrating and highlighting these enduring values, aims to resonate with audiences in a contemporary societal context. Brett Cooper, set to portray the new Snow White in the Daily Wire's adaptation, has become a focal point of anticipation and approval among fans. Beyond her acting prowess, Cooper brings a multifaceted persona to the project, a well-known YouTube personality and a member of the Daily Wire family. Cooper has amassed a substantial following by hosting the comment section with Brett Cooper, a channel boasting over 3.6 million subscribers. Her alignment with traditional values and her commitment to preserving the timeless values of the original fairy tale have struck a chord with audiences disenchanted by Disney's progressive trajectory. As anticipation builds for The Daily Wire's Snow White and The Evil Queen, Cooper has shared an engaging video where she reacts to the trailer and officially embraces her role. In this video, Cooper responds to a TikTok video by fellow YouTuber Ryan Cannell, emphasizing the audience's desire for propaganda-free entertainment. Cooper wholeheartedly agrees, asserting that the primary objective is not to transform Snow. Not expecting this announcement? At least Brett Cooper looks like Snow White in this promo, whereas you can't really say the same thing about Rachel Zegler. You know, it'd be one thing if Snow White turned around and put a MAGA hat on or some bullshit. That's not, people don't want propaganda on the other side. They just want propaganda-free entertainment. It's Hollywood, baby. And that really is the main point. We're not trying to turn Snow White into something that it's not. We're not trying to turn Snow White into a MAGA conservative movie. We're just trying to represent the values that Snow White is based. Cooper also addresses another TikTok user's response video, emphasizing that Snow White and the Evil Queen is not pandering to woke audiences. The film, according to Cooper, places significance on maintaining fidelity to the source material and conveying the original story with the values and themes that made the Grimm Brothers fairy tale renowned. Yes, you're right. We don't give a crap about being woke. But more importantly, our creative team actually gives a crap about the source material. They want to tell the original story with the values and the themes that made the Grimm Brothers fairy tale so famous and important to begin. Cooper underscores the pivotal values that will be at the heart of Snow White and the Evil Queen. Love, kindness, friendship, inner beauty, juxtaposed with vanity and romance. She contends that these values seemingly overlooked in 2023, are integral to the essence of the classic fairy tale. Furthermore, Cooper clarifies an aspect of the film that drew attention in the trailer, Snow White's long hair. Citing historical accuracy from the original Grimm story, Cooper explains that while Disney owns the original cartoon, the new movie is a depiction of the brothers' Grimm fairy tale, which features Snow White with long hair. The most crucial element of the Daily Wire's Snow White adaptation as emphasized by Cooper, is its focus on timeless values that have endeared the fairy tale to generations. The film, by championing these values, distances itself from political agendas and aims to offer an alternative to Disney's approach. This commitment to preserving the heart of the classic story without succumbing to contemporary diversification resonates with audiences seeking a faithful adaptation. In the larger context, the Daily Wire's intervention in the Snow White narrative is seen as a response to what is perceived as Disney's disregard for its heritage and audience. Jeremy Boring, co-CAO of The Daily Wire, has articulated a strong perspective, asserting that Snow White is the cornerstone upon which Disney built its empire. He contends that Disney is disappointing its loyal fan base with the direction it has taken in the live-action adaptation deviating from the traditional values that made Snow White a cultural phenomenon. Everything to build his dream. One of his greatest risks and greatest achievements was Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Critics at the time called it 
Disney's folly, they were certain it would be a flop. It was 400% over budget, and it would have bankrupted the entire company if it didn't succeed. But it did succeed. It went on to become one of the top grossing films of all time. Everything you see today from Disney was made possible by Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So there's no better example of Disney's disregard for their own heritage or their disregard for their own audience than their current remake of their own classic film. Walt once said about Snow White, quote, to me, I thought it was the perfect story. I had the sympathetic dwarves. I had the prince and the girl, the romance. I just thought it was a perfect story. Unfortunately, the company Disney founded doesn't agree with their founder. As the narrative duel between Disney's progressive vision and the Daily Wire's traditionalist stance unfolds, the audience's response will be pivotal. The clash encapsulates a broader tension within contemporary filmmaking. The struggle between innovative reinterpretations and the preservation of cherished traditions. Ultimately, the success or failure of these divergent approaches hinges on the audience's reception of the forthcoming Snow White adaptations, reflecting not only their cinematic preferences, but also their cultural and societal inclinations.